Look at the Affordable Care Act as a whole. Um, it's good for the economy and gives more choices to but people. Isn't the report basically saying that the Affordable Care Act will have the impact on the labor market of reducing full-time employment by 2.5 million jobs over the next 10 years? Don't! The report finds that there will be less, that workers will choose to supply less labor, correct? It, it, it's, it describes that as a choice. Again, it's not that the businesses are cutting those jobs. If you're losing that many jobs, I, and I'm really just trying to understand this, so right. if you're losing that many jobs, regardless of why you're losing them, doesn't that have some kind of negative impact on the economy? Don't! Two things. One, just a small picky thing. Um, it doesn't say losing jobs. It well, says FTEs, so to some degree this might be somebody who used to work 60 hours because they needed health insurance and that was the only job that offered it and now they can get a different job at 35 hours that doesn't offer health insurance but they're getting it through this and they're switching from one to the other and that's a better choice for that person and this has given them that option that they didn't used to have. Um, as I said, you wouldn't judge whether Social Security and Medicare are good or bad based on what they do to labor supply. No surprise here, seeing as Obamacare was written by insurance companies and other insiders, and it was specifically designed to kill jobs as a mechanism to help push their product on you. And of course, the idiots that have already locked into the Obamacare system have seen their premiums skyrocket. So on top of the job-killing aspect, it's absolute highway robbery. And of course, your unelected but heavily paid off non-representatives had no problem giving the green light on this whole criminal operation. So yes, this is intentional job-killing economic terrorism. Corporations are allowed to commit bioterrorism against you in a whole plethora of ways on a regular basis, by the way. Aerosol geoengineering looks like it is so cheap that the cost is basically not going to be an issue. That means that implementation decisions will be risk-to-risk -risk decisions. But I think the more we do research, the less easy this will look, the more complicated the environmental effects will look. And that's a good thing, because right now it looks too easy. So I think that if we do more research, we're likely to find out that it's harder and more complicated than we thought, and that the side effects are harder to manage. So your answer to that equation is to promote it even further? Come on, doctor, tell me what you really think. And by the way, it's not really a moral hazard. It's more like free riding on our grandkids. And by the way, it's not really a moral hazard. It's more like free riding on our grandkids. Free riding on our grandkids. Oh, isn't that cute? Yes. Go on, spray all the little rats in this big experiment of yours. It's not like they'll see it coming. They'll be too busy playing their Xbox and their Playstations. <laughs> You've got it all figured out, don't you? have named submicron-sized particulates as being particularly harmful for human respiration. Through all the discussions today, uh, I have not heard any mention of this fallout, and has, has this been studied, and also the effects of a highly reactive metal like aluminum on toxifying soils and waters. The collaborators of mine working on the aerosol scheme are actually folks from Carnegie Mellon who focused on human health impacts. And while we haven't published it, that was the very first thing we did. Of course you didn't publish the study showing how you're committing genocide. After all, if there was anything good in that study at all, you'd have it with you to generate some good PR. But no, here you are talking about free riding on our grandkids. So let us continue to engage the public, wake them up, and turn them into tyrant killers that will accept nothing less than a constitutionally operated republic with a small government that actually represents them.